Jr. Rich man, juniors of the world, juniors of the world. What's happening, y'all? I'm doing good, brother. Another day, another dollar, man. Ain't that goes. Another day, another dollar. Before we get in, I wanted to read read this little article or whatever that this chick posts. Her name is Acapel. If I'm pronouncing it right, forgive me if I'm not. But she was talking about there is a such thing as poisonous female. She is a prayer on men. And how she spelled prayer is P-R-E-Y-E-R. She has the children only to destroy a man or control him. Then acts like the man. She pushes him out acting like a victim. But her loud rude attitude she calls her personality. Except it's not personality. It's her poisoning energy. Which she do not need a man attitude. She make her own money attitude. She wastes full of energy, a terror to her children, while controlling the narrative of when a man can see his children raising the children with no male influence, teaching the children not to respect the father, teaching the cycle of feminism and distress behavior to generations she's birthed. She's the worst poison on the planet. Her sons are made into weak, feminized males. And her daughter's made to be fast and destroys men using sexualized nature like her next cycle of the poison. This single mother syndrome has to stop. Our generation is becoming so busy trying to prove that women can do what men can do. That women are losing their uniqueness. Women weren't created to do everything a man can do. Women were created to do everything a man can't do. I just thought that was deep. Uh, I mean, should we even follow up with that, man? Because everything she laid out there, man, was, <laughs> was spot on. Hey, that's what we've been talking about the whole time. I agree with that, man. Because there are a lot of women out here exactly like that, man. And it could be like nightmares to men. For real. You come across a woman that has like her own money, her own house, and she got things going on. She'll look bad on you if you're not even equal to her. Even if you're right. not equal to her, man, she might even still see you as like less than what she got going on or who she is. Right, right. Right. It's, it's, you know, it's a sad state of mind a lot of these women live in there. And mm -hmm. it really is sad though, man. They are feminizing, destroying men as, as they grow up and everything though, man. That's why this generation of men right now are like, but yeah, yo, we, I mean, can't really follow that up, though, man. She laid that thing. Yeah, she laid it down. I know a lot of so-called alpha females ain't gonna rock with that or want to be dominant women. They ain't gonna rock with that. Hey, but sorry for you. It's alpha females up there. Stop. It got hey, to. Why, why, you, why you in competition with your um, with your spouse or your mate or whoever, man? You see the other and everything, though, man. You got your set of rules. Y'all got you got his set of rules. Exactly. Y'all come together as one. Y'all build together, man. Not trying to break somebody down because they don't fit your perfect world or whatever your perfect world is supposed to be. They're delusional. It is what it is. Like I be saying, man, we, we, we all have to come together because it's just so much madness and craziness going on. Actually, the hundred days that your boy Biden been in office is about to be over May 1st, May Day. It's supposed to hit hundred mil of folks getting, you know, getting that shot or whatnot. But they did a, a good job because he hit, they said it doubled around 220 mil. Man, well, everything's <laughs> falling in place the way they want it to, man. Right now, India is getting hit with a super wave of the, of the COVID-19 they got going on right now, mm. though, man. You know what I mean? It's, I believe that number right there is like 200,000 people and everything, though, man, affected with the COVID over there in India. Uh, so, so it's, it's like devastating over there right now for them. You know, but um, it's a lot going on. A lot more you got to look into and see what's really what's what, man. So what else you got with that, though? What I mean, the way I'm feeling, I'm trying to choose my words wildly because there's some sensitive fat checkers on here, man. You know how they do, man. So I'm trying to trying to choose it wisely when I speak about this. But I'm just trying to figure out, you know how when you have to, they tax you when you go to the hospital. Folks that got cancer, they tax them for the treatment. Folks with HIV. They tax them, people with kidney failure, whatever. They tax them. Folks need, you know, 
a brain surgery or a heart replacement or whatever, they tax them. But the funny thing is about the COVID-19 vaccine, it's free of charge for everyone. Crazy. For everyone. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff that's going on with that. You know what I mean? Just go ahead and look up like CDC. Look up for God. Yeah, line. look it up, bro. <laughs> Just pay attention to it. You know what I mean? You can't say too much on it. Yeah, can't say that. You know, you know they might censor this or whatever. I, I, it's, just, it's just crazy, though. It say it, but it says that um, the fee will be in, reimbursed through the Health Resources and Services Administration Provider Relief Fund. But if it's like that, what? what I'm, I'm just saying though. I'm just saying. What? What if I want the COVID? You feel me? Why? Why now? You concerned on my well being? Hey, uh. <laughs> hey, but hey, this this just my opinion now. This just my opinion. I just, <laughs> They didn't found the uh, so-called cure vaccine for us. So, I mean, hey, it's just something to think about. Just, hey, listeners, just let that marinate, you know. But um, any last words, though, bro? It's never a last word, man. You know what I mean? The cycle of life keeps going and everything that hits the news wave, it's always going to multiply over and over again, man. You know what I mean? Shed lightly. Take it for what it's worth. You know what I mean? Take it light, but take it. And it is masses. You can never be a little slow. You can never be a little late. But always keep your eyes on the prize, man. And what they got Pokemon out right now, though, can't believe everything you see or hear in the media. You know what I mean? You got people out here like this show. I'm going to go ahead and give you unscripted news that comes, you know what I mean, from reliable sources. Right. You know? And you can always go back and research it and everything else. So we storytellers. We we'll just give it to you the way we see it. The way we see it. Oh, that we can. And, and, and yeah, for sure. Uh, we got these shirts, you know, dropping pretty soon. Uh, Chaotic Brothers and Dreams of the World t-shirts. Hopefully y'all uh, support us or what that. And, you know, spread the love. Spread the information. Y'all like, subscribe. Drop below in the, the comment box. Tell us what y'all think about the show. Dreams of the World, baby.